This video examines whether your diet can cure fibroids naturally and without medical interventions like surgery, surgical alternatives or drugs. By exploring some ideas about fibroids and association with certain foods in your diet, we could see if they could help prevent the growth of fibroids and therefore provide a cure. You might hear a lot of conflicting things about food and fibroids. In fact, I'm pretty sure you've heard somewhere that certain foods can cure fibroids. But doctors don't like telling you this because we want to make money from writing prescriptions for expensive drugs or conducting expensive surgeries. Well, I'm a general practitioner or family physician. I don't have any drug company affiliations. In this video, I'll explain what some studies that we have say about the association between foods and fibroids. And so we can look into how fibroids are affected by certain foods backed by studies. Let's begin. Hi, welcome back to the channel. I'm Dr. Sylvia, a consultant in general practice. Welcome to Ask Your Way Health. Please give this video a like. And of course, consider subscribing to the channel if this is the kind of information you like to hear about. Fibroids are benign growths of the womb tissue. They're the most common benign growth or tumor in women. They happen mostly in women of childbearing age. So we more often tend to see them around the very early 30s and upwards. Women can still have fibroids persisting after the menopause. What causes fibroids? Well, that is a million dollar question because we don't know the answer fully. We believe fibroids grow or develop as a result of hormone imbalance, particularly affecting reproductive hormones, estrogen and progesterone. However, excess estrogen or progesterone alone does not explain the development of fibroids. Other factors are implicated. We've talked about age, for example, starting from the late 20s, very early 30s and onwards. But there is genetics. You may have fibroids if other women in your family, sisters, aunties, also have it. Being overweight has been implicated as has smoking and having high blood pressure. Ethnicity can also play a role because more African or women of African background or African-American or Afro-Caribbean have fibroids than other ethnic groups. But what about food? First, food has a significant impact on our overall health. And this is not just in the quantity, but also in the quality and the type of food matters in the development of disease. We know about the effects of antioxidants and inflammation on chronic health conditions. Eating certain foods can promote these, for example, heart disease, diabetes, and yes, fibroids. So now let's look at what some studies say when it comes to foods and fibroids. First, red meat or fish. The first story is that eating red meat worsens fibroid symptoms. Is that a myth or a fact? Let's examine this a little. Some studies suggest a potential link between excessively eating beef or red meat and the development of fibroids. But the evidence needs to be more conclusive. That means that some studies have said that there is a link between fibroids and red meat, while others have not found that association. And this may be due to the different composition of beef that varies from place to place, country to country, and so on. For example, there was a study that said that there was a low risk of fibroids with red meat in Chinese women. But another study said the risk was high in women from Italy. The same also happens with fish. One study from the United States showed higher fibroid growth among women who were mainly eating a diet of fish. Apart from the different compositions of beef, that come in when it's being processed for sale. The relevant factor may also be food pollutants, and we'll talk about this in a little bit, because they can exist in these animals before they are prepared for human consumption. Fish, for example, can be polluted from the waters or the seas where they grow. Examples of these pollutants are polychlorinated biphenyls, PCBs. So what should this tell you if you have fibroids? red meat, fish or not? Well, moderation is key. Eating lean cuts of red meat, fish, chicken or turkey can help as part of a balanced diet to keep you at a healthy weight and is unlikely to significantly impact fibroids. Next, animal fat and processed foods. 
The next theory is that eating animal fat leads to fibroid growth and could worsen fibroid symptoms. Is this true or false? Eating excessive amounts of animal fats, especially processed or fried foods, may contribute to hormone imbalance and worsen fibroid growth. It also leads to weight gain. And remember, we've said that being overweight increases the risk of fibroids. But some studies show that dietary fats, so eggs, butter, margarine, and oil, does not appreciably affect the growth of fibroids. But please bear in mind that some types of fats which could do the absolute opposite. They're called trans fatty acids and consuming them might lead to an increased risk of fibroids. This increased risk also applies to other types of processed foods. So we're talking about things like added sugar of all types, salt and any high sodium foods, soda or soft drink and other sugary drinks. What about dairy products? This is another food category where the findings differ from one to another. While an Italian study showed no association between dairy and developing fibroids or their growth, a Chinese one showed the opposite. Interestingly, a study on African American women reported that taking milk or milk products frequently protects against developing or growing fibroids. In other words, Taking ice cream, butter, cheese in moderation was not associated with fibroids. So calcium and other milk components actually oppose the growth of fibroids. But the same study mentioned to be wary of yogurt because it may slightly, slightly increase the risk of developing fibroids. So to keep your weight down, look for calcium rich, low fat dairy products like yogurt, with probiotics, plant milk or non-dairy alternatives if you're lactose intolerant or have other sensitivities. Remember that individual responses to dairy can vary. Some of you may find that dairy worsens your fibroid symptoms. Opting for low-fat or non-dairy alternatives can be beneficial. So now we're talking about food I know but let us address the issue of fasting because I've been asked about that quite a few times in the comment section. <sighs> And I'm going to be looking at water fasting in particular. Can water fasting shrink fibroids? This is going to be a short one because I didn't find too many studies. Water fasting is a type of fast that restricts everything except water. Usually it's done over one, two or three days and it's become quite popular as a quick way to lose weight. Some people believe it could have health benefits like reducing the risk of certain chronic diseases, but we don't have many human studies on water fasting, so it might come with some health risks that we're not yet aware of. There is no scientific evidence to support the claim that water fasting can shrink fibroids. In fact, Extreme fasting can deprive the body of essential nutrients, leading to health complications, and it's not suitable for everyone. Instead, what we need is a diet that is moderate, balanced, rich in fruits, vegetables, whole grains, and lean proteins. That is what we recommend for overall health and potentially managing fibroid symptoms. 